of uh, Bailey after the first pitch, obviously, and uh, um, what uh, what made you turn to the pen? Um, what was the last question? That last part of it? I didn't hear you. Going to Kenta after three. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we had an idea. I talked to our guys about um, you know Bailey going out there and getting us through a certain portion of the game, and then Kenta also giving us a good portion of the game too. So uh, it was going to be kind of a, a group effort from our pitching staff. Uh, Bailey went out there and obviously um, uh, you know fired a strike, probably a high strike on the first pitch, and obviously gets uh, it gets hit, and um, you know. That, that's Altuve. That's what he's capable of. He can he can do things like that. Um, Bailey's stuff I thought was actually pretty good. It was actually I think up a little bit today, uh, knowing that he was going to go in a little bit of a shorter uh, role for us, and we were going to play it uh, by ear by watching the game to see just when and where uh, we got our other guys involved. Um, and then uh, you know of course a big swing uh, by Jordan and um, you know then we then we go to Kenta. They they had good at bats against us early in the game. Um, uh, against the first two guys that that uh, we put out there, um, and they kind of uh, grinded us a little bit. But then, you know, we we did a good job of staying in the game. Uh, it's not always going to be perfect. You're going to give up runs at times, and you're going to go down at times. Um, but our guys kept us in the ball game, and our offense came back and, uh, and made some things happen. We had some big swings. We were right. We were right in there. I mean, uh, I know you didn't ask me about all this, but I'm going to keep talking. Um, you know, Verlander uh, goes out there, and we had, I think, pretty good at bats against him. That's what I would call it. And we had uh, a lot of traffic out there, and uh, where you know one good swing or even one well placed uh, swing away from um, you know getting some some real action going, putting some runs in the board. We just didn't get that. The, the double plays today, they happen in our game, and uh, we know that. But um, they were they were a big reason why the innings that we had going. Um, you know, we didn't get exactly where we needed to be, and we're going to have to have to deal with that. But we stayed in the game, and we still have, had an opportunity to win the game all the way to the end of the game. Uh, go to Aaron back in blue shirt. You talked coming into the series about you know lefties versus Alvarez, righties versus. Is this just an example of there is no good matchup against a, a hitter that good? Um, well. I would say that he's a good hitter against everyone. I mean, he's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's funny. You don't normally talk about good players like this, but he's probably really good against righties on average and uh, uh, also very good against lefties. I mean, you'd still probably rather take your chances uh, bringing your good lefties in there and giving him, uh, giving your guys an opportunity to go get him out. Um, he just hit an off-speed pitch, stayed through it, and uh, you know found the barrel. And he's he's strong. He doesn't have to uh, get all of it to to hit the ball out of the ballpark. But um, he he obviously had a good day today. But you you have to also go at these guys and uh, pitching. Um, uh, not even around them, but just uh, trying to be very fine with everything you do to all these guys isn't going to get you where you need to be. You have to attack them and, and throw strikes, and uh, um, they're going to swing. They don't strike out much as a group, so you're going to have to attack in the zone. Go in the back middle. You mentioned attacking them. Could this impact your decision-making later when potentially a lefty against Jordan moving forward in this series? Well, I mean, I don't judge things based on watching one at bat or, or one swing. Um, my guess is Caleb will be in there to face those guys again at some point this series, if not more than once this series. So um, I, I think that kind of answers the question. Um, uh, we have some damn good relievers that we can go to in a lot of, a lot of spots, uh, and uh, we're going to give them those chances to, to go out there and get outs. Go over here on the left. Is there anything you liked about the game plan coming out out against Verlander, and then anything you think sort of changed in the middle innings when he got in a groove? Um, yeah, it's a good question. He definitely he definitely found himself and um, found the mix that he's looking for. He's a guy that uh, you know if he has something that he doesn't like, he'll go away from it and he'll go to what feels good on that day. Um, uh, I think at some at some points he went to the, he was going to the fastball up in certain spots where maybe he thought uh, we were we were looking more off speed. But um, I was pleased. I, I was actually I'm sitting there you know through a couple of innings, a few innings, and I'm going, man, you know, I mean, how many more base runners could could you want out there uh, to go do something? So I liked the way we we went into the game. I liked. Uh, 
uh, our, our hitters execution of, of the game plan and, and swinging at the right pitches and things like that. So uh, I did like that. One thing we did do also, we made him throw, we made him throw a lot of pitches. Uh, you know, he's, he can pitch, you know, towards the end of the game if he, if he's, uh, if his pitch counts, right. But um, we were able to get to their bullpen and they have a good bullpen, but we were able to get into that bullpen and, and, and make some things happen. So, um, you know, with the amount of uh, action that we had on the bases, um, we probably didn't we, we didn't get the runs that you would normally think you, you would get in those situations. On the right here. Hey, Rocco, how important is have someone like Paulo Lopez for tomorrow on maybe match the series? Yeah, um, you know, handing Pablo the ball is something that every every time you hand him the ball. Uh, you feel very confident, you know, the, the guys uh, around him feel confident. Um, he gives you a great chance to win a ball game every time. Uh, he's ultra competitive and it rubs off on everyone. And I could say a lot of the same things about Sonny Gray and th those two guys are going to come up and pitch for us uh, next. And, um, you know, when, when you give them the ball, you think they're going to pitch you to a win every time, regardless of who you're facing. So uh, that's the kind of feeling that, uh, that you do want. That, yeah, that's, that's who he is. Uh, Phil on the left. Rocco, I hate to use the S word around you again, but uh, it's uh, the Twins have a rather lengthy streak of not scoring many runs in the postseason, 18 uh, games with uh, four or fewer games now. I assume, especially tonight with the one for 12 with runners in scoring position, you think it's, is it safe to say you think it's a fluke and that, uh, um, well, what would you say about uh, such a streak? I wouldn't because, uh, you know, our players that are in the in the uh, clubhouse over there uh, are, are, you know, an excellent group of players and a really good offense and one of the best offenses uh, in the game in the second half this year. So um, most of that uh, has nothing to do with them. So I, I don't really have much to say uh, about it. Um, and there's a remedy for it, and uh, you get some base runners on base, and you, you whack a three-run homer, and then you know hit another double, and it's over. So uh, that's how fast it uh, it happens. Just like uh, the last series we played was something that our team hasn't done in a while, um, and then all of a sudden it happens. So that that's that's kind of the way I look at it. It is still just nine runs in three games this postseason. Is there any? Do you feel any frustration growing over? Uh, you had so many breakout games the last couple of months that it hasn't happened yet. Um, no, I'm not really thinking about it like that. I think postseason baseball, you, you, in, in postseason baseball, you're going to have to win a lot of low-scoring games. We're facing, uh, we're throwing out there and facing some of the best pitchers in the game on a, on a you know game by game basis on a daily basis. So uh, you're going to probably think you're going to have to win low-scoring affairs in order to do it. There's a lot of different ways to to win those games. You know, you might have to manufacture a little bit. You might just, uh, you know whack a few over the fence and, and all that. But no, you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to fight and claw and uh, have a good approach and and battle it for nine innings to score runs off of all the guys pitching right now, including our guys that are pitching. Thanks, Rocco. Thank you. You got it, guys. Thank you.